Hey guys, we're going to be doing our exterior heart labeling and all you will need to do this is a red and blue colored pencil of any shade. You could use a pink and a blue highlighter and then a pen so that you can do your labeling and your answering of your questions. So we're going to start by looking at this heart and this is a drawing of an anatomical heart. And the first question on our paper is whether this is anterior, meaning the front of the heart, or whether this is posterior, meaning the back of the heart. This is an anterior view of the heart, and there are two main things to look for to know that. The first thing is I can see the coronary arteries coming in and stretching down along the heart. So they're sort of crisscrossing the heart. The second thing is that the heart is pointing to the right. So you can see the tip of it is angled to the right. And when the heart is facing forward, that will always be angled to the right. If it were flipped backward, we would not see the coronary arteries in this position and it would be angled to the left instead. Now we have some different structures to label. And before we label them, it's important to know which side of the heart is which. So the heart has two sides, it's split, split kind of right down the middle. It has a left and a right. And when people first look at this diagram, they're tempted to say, this is the left and this is the right, because that's how I see it in front of me, the left on my left and the right on my right. But imagine this heart was inside of a person. So you're looking at the person and they're looking at you. Their left is your right and vice versa, which means this is actually the right side of the heart on your left and the left side of their heart is on your right. So I've now labeled a few different structures. I've labeled the atria up at the top. So RA is for right atrium and LA is for left atrium. And I've labeled the ventricles, RV for right ventricle and LV for left ventricle. So these are on the left side of the heart and these are on the right. You'll notice I'm using some color coding. The left side of the heart contains oxygenated blood, which is represented by red. So I'm doing that labeling in red because I'm very visual. If you have colored markers or pens to do this with, you can. Next, I've labeled the aorta. The aorta is the biggest blood vessel in your body and it is about as big as a fat highlighter or a garden hose. Now I've labeled the pulmonary veins. These are the other blood vessels attached to the heart that contain oxygenated blood. We'll talk far more about them later. And running sort of in front of the aorta is the pulmonary arteries. These say veins and arteries because they actually split into a left and a right. So we have pulmonary veins and pulmonary arteries. The pulmonary arteries are in blue because they contain deoxygenated blood. I'm now labeling my vena cavas. So the vena cava, there are two of them. They come together. We have the superior vena cava, which is up above. So remember that someone who's superior to you is above you or thinks they are. And we have the inferior vena cava because it's below. The next exterior structure that we're going to label is the apex. The apex is the point of the heart, the tip. So on a mountain, apex means the peak of the mountain. So it's a tip or a peak. And as I told you, it helps you know which side is which because it points to the left. The next thing I've labeled are the coronary arteries. You'll notice I've labeled them on on both of the sides and I've colored them red because they're full of oxygen. So the word coronary might make you think of the word corona and they both come from the same root which means crown or wreath and that has to do with their shape. So the coronary arteries are named for the fact that they look kind of like a wreath around the heart or they did to early anatomists. The job of the coronary arteries is they get oxygenated blood from the aorta and then they wrap around the heart and they feed and give oxygen to all of the heart tissue. So the heart can only stay healthy if the coronary arteries are working right. Maybe you've heard the term that someone had a coronary. If someone has a coronary, it means they had a heart attack. So if you get blockages in there, often from fat, it can make it so that the oxygen and the nutrients can't get through. You might have a blockage right here, and then this part of the heart tissue can die. Sometimes a heart attack just a little piece of the heart dies, but the person can keep living. But sometimes it's so massive that the heart gives out and the person dies. So the coronary arteries are very important for keeping your heart healthy.